I'm Mondo the Boss Medina, and welcome to The Surge on El Paso Sports Network. As always, I am joined by, look at that, look at look at that setup he's got, Ace Acosta. Bro, you're like, you're like, you're like, wow, look at that, look at that setup compared to last week to this week. I mean, you got like, it's, it's like a disco going on there in, in your well, studio, it's, bro. because you are making fun of me last time, so uh, better prepared this time, got to spice it up with uh, showtime oops on this side and got mr kobe and then of course you got uh the wolves yeah and, and uh it, it's pretty uh amazing what you got there buddy because um when i when i look at it it's um you know i like the flashiness of what you got then the, you got the wireless microphone you look you look legit today man i ain't gonna lie to you you look very very uh very legit that's all i'm gonna say to you you're awesome. Legit, legit as, as can be, you know. Let's <laughs> we try. We try a little well, bit. Today you look time. like like a professional photographer. Let me just say that right now with all the equipment you've always had it. You just didn't use it last week, but this week you got it. So let's talk about some stuff because we're just gonna go quickly today. Quick recap of what happened over the weekend, plus what you can expect uh, this past. Uh, this upcoming week. Don't forget, check out the website, dpsportsnetwork.com. A lot of stuff up there. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the stuff that you can actually watch on the website right now. And I said watch because it's video-based. Uh, so let's talk about some of the stuff that happened this past weekend. Uh, the El Paso Locomotive. Ace, have you ever seen it? Fastest goal ever in the history of the El Paso Locomotive FC. And then um, I'll be honest with you, I, didn't, I, I, I saw the goal like, when when the ball went in, because I was talking to one of the TV guys, and I'm sorry you got in trouble. We're going over some stuff for the game, and then the next you know the the match started, and all of a sudden they scored. I mean, how was it for you? I mean, I, I, I kind of missed the shot. I was there, but there was a player that was running um, kind of in the front, so the focus point went on him, and the goalie and and the other guy was a little blurred. But I got the reaction. Um, I haven't seen a fast goal like that, I, I, obviously, because that was the fastest goal in locomotive history. But we're there. It was cool to see. I mean, it, it's, you know, sometimes we have to wait a long time to see some goals, but at least this one was. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. We, like we line, had to, we had to wait to the very, the, like we had to wait to the very end of the, mm -hmm. the previous game for them to score a goal there. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of like when you used to watch Mike Tyson fights. I mean, this is way before your time, my man. You're probably you're you're a, a baby I ace out there. You know, I remember this is a true story. I mean, this is when when it was like on HBO or something like that. I can't remember how old Tyson was, but I remember the fight started, and I was like, I'm gonna go to the restroom very quickly. And it was it was a real quick thing. First round, whatever, went to the restroom. Came back, the fight was over, man. That's exactly what it felt like for me. Seventy nine dollars later, you're like, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, so I mean, it is what it is. But congratulations to the locomotives. Uh, they're still undefeated. It's been a while since they've lost at uh, Southwest University Park. I think it's been like over a year or something. Like that. Well, how many matches? I don't know how many it's been, but it's been a while since they've lost a match there. But by the way, before I do move on, I want to talk about one of the things that. I do find that's always awesome there at the uh, Southwest University Park when the locomotives are playing, and that is the eighth notch. I mean, they're always going crazy. They're I, That's where really I, I'm new to soccer. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm new to soccer. That's one of the things I truly enjoy about being – that's the experience to the fans there, Ace. Yeah, the, the, the fan base here is, is very uh, passionate and – you know, they weren't ready for that goal either. They didn't no. have the smoke ready or <laughs> anything like they, that. They but weren't ready at all. You know, when, when that when that clock starts, you better be on your A game. Cause, Gotta be on the A game, but at the same time, those guys are always going crazy. So that's the, that's the eighth notch right there. Oh, I love the fact that the people are crazy, so... They won. Congratulations to them. They're playing uh, in a couple of days. Uh, a team that's not been doing that has not has not had a good week is the El Paso Chihuahuas. They start off the homestand here in El Paso over a week and a half ago. They won six games in a row, and now they've lost six games in a row. Have the El Paso Chihuahuas? You know, crazy. That's crazy how it goes. That's baseball. It is baseball. It's, it's full of ups and downs. Um, but the, but the Chihuahuas are back. And if you didn't get your tickets, you better get some quick because uh, you got a major league player that's going to be hopefully yes. playing today and tomorrow. 
um, and Cody Bellinger, if I'm saying yeah, his from, name from, right. Yes, from the Dodgers. Uh, from the Dodgers, Los Doyers. And, the, and, and this rivalry between Oklahoma City and El Paso is, is really kicking up. You know, both teams have always been competitive in the postseason leading up to it. So um, just like our rival with Albuquerque, you know, this one is, is a lot more intense, especially because of the, the parent league clubs. You know, the mm-hmm. Dodgers and the Padres are, are, are going at it. So um, El Paso, get ready to see some great baseball here. Um, like I said, yeah, the, the dogs are in a slump right now. But, you know, once those bats, you know, start hitting again, you know, and they're back at home. Hey, and it's Bark at the Park on Friday. So uh, it, and gonna, it's weird. Be it's crazy with all the dogs here. And, and it's <laughs> different because normally that would be on Sunday. So now they're alternating some of the days when they do that. And, of course, Bark at the Park is on Friday. Then, of course, the big thing, it's Memorial Day weekend. So let's talk about the Chihuahua is going to be the place to be this weekend. You got Bark at the Park on Friday. Then you've got the fireworks at on, on Saturday. Sold and out. I was about to say that it's sold out at sold 100% out. capacity. Southwest University Park is now 100% capacity. If you haven't heard, that means not only for the locomotive games, not only for the Chihuahuas games, but when they do whatever they have at Southwest University Park later on this year, they're going to have the like the extreme bikes and stuff like that. You know, I can't remember the, the name of it. Circus. Top. Nitro yes, Circus. Yes, the that Nitro is Circus. Be, that's going to be that's gonna be awesome. They're gonna have the like the country thing, the way out west, or I think that's what it's called. Remember, that's top of my head. So a lot of stuff happening. But the one thing, it's crazy how it's moved because when the, the we first started the season two weeks ago, three weeks ago, you look at the locomotives like we didn't know the restrictions were going to be for the locomotives. I'm looking now, like not even three weeks later, and they're at a hundred percent capacity. That gives me hope when it comes to high school sports in the fall, brother. So you got to be excited about that. It, it should, and a lot of NFL stadiums are saying they're going 100%, and, and you know, the, the school boards and the, the committees look at what the, the majors are doing, and hopefully that trickles down. And it's going to trickle down we'll because um, we, we talked about how the Chihuahuas 100% capacity, uh, Southwest University Park. Uh, you talk about uh, football there, um, professional wrestling. They're making moves so the, for the first time in over a year and a half. The WWE, they're going to start doing live shows. And guess what? Guess, what's, guess, guess what state they're going to start in? It's going to be here in Texas. Uh, Dallas-based area. Uh, I think the last pay-per-view they're going to have is going to be held in the South in June. But in July, they're back on the road, man. They're going to start in Texas, and it's going to be the Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view. And that's a big thing because uh, now that they're going to do it, also AEW, which is kind of their rival, not really. But still, you know, the alternative to WWE, they're going to be on the road. That means that it's coming little by little, but we're getting a little bit back to normal. Ease. And, and, and concerts are, are, are going full swing mm-hmm. now, too. Um, you got festivals that are being lined up. Uh, I don't think it's too short of notice for the Neon Desert that would normally. Take well, that, that would have been this memorial. weekend. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, normally it would be this weekend, but yeah. uh, I don't know if Sun City Music Festival might make a comeback. If not, yeah. I'm thinking they won't be back till next year, but UTEP's already announced some of their lineups with Ricky Martin and uh, obviously Bad Bunny. So Bad Bunny. Look out. Like you said, it's, it's, it's well, kind of getting back to normalcy. Well you, yeah. well, you talk about the stuff getting back to normal. The other day, you and I had the opportunity to go to Hooters uh, here in El Paso, and it was the uh, Miss, it was the 2021 Miss Hooters El Paso contest. Now it was called the Road to you were the judge, Orlando. You were the I judge. was a judge. I was working. I was yes. working. Yes, you're the judge. I was a judge. It was an honor to be a judge. Uh, and first of all, I just want to say uh, um, congratulations to all the uh, Hooter girls that that competed in this contest because it takes a lot of guts to go up there and you know because you're being judged. Just to be honest, that's what it is. The judging contest. That's why I was I was a judge. Uh, but they all did a great job. Uh, you did a tremendous. You had the, you had the uh, the opportunity to take all these pictures. So, but how was it for you just to get back into the grind? You know, because it's it had been a while since you've done basically like a beauty. Because this is what it is. It's also kind of like a beauty pageant. So, what was it like for you to do that again? Um, you know, speaking with with my fellow colleague uh, uh, Armando from El Diario, to get back into the swing of things. You know, it's been it's been so long. You know, since we covered those events. You know, just getting back to our normal habits and like okay we're going through our checklist on all right what are we going to shoot you know just getting getting back into the into the grind and we're like all right after a while i think after like the first round you know we got back into our groove and and getting our shots set up and then of course just 
waiting to see who is going to be the winner. And like you said, congratulations to all of them. You know, it's not easy to go up on stage mm-hmm. um, and, and, and rock it, but you see the commitment that they've done to they do. work hard and, and, and get in shape. And, you know, this competition, I believe they are going to Orlando. So she'll be competing um, against be the competing for the national uh, contest in Orlando. That's correct. Florida. In, in Orlando. Oh. And um, like I said, there's a lot of girls out there. And I, I, I was able to put together a quick little video of the fine pictures that you took. Now, before I play these videos, and just let you know, you can see the full gallery at epsportsnetwork.com. Check it out. Here we go. And there you have the uh, pictures that you took. Like I said, there's way more on the website, epsportsnetwork.com. Tremendous job, uh, as always, brother. Um, yeah, so, be on the lookout because it looks like the, the beauty pageants are coming back. You got Miss El Paso coming up in June and Miss New Mexico um, coming up in August. So it's, uh, like you said, getting back to the, the swing of getting things. Getting back to normal. And, and yeah. every, everybody, everybody is good. And speaking about stuff coming back, and of course, we had the return of amateur boxing this past weekend with the Clash of the Youth, youth Boxing event. You know, we had a great time out there with the Warriors Edge. Those, those are the guys that put it together there. That story is up on the website, epsportsnetwork.com, along with some pictures and things of that nature. But it was good to see there. A good buddy, Herman Delgado, was there, you know. Of course, Ruben, you know, and Mondo and all the fighters, you know. Uh, and I'll tell you what, Ace, it, it, it was a... I, you, it was an event that, you know, I think a lot of people were happy to be at, especially for the parents to go out there and see these young amateurs fighting. You know, there was a, and they had a great crowd. It was like about maybe 350 people strong there, and they're all into it. You know, they're having a good time, and it's just great to see that amateur boxing is back in the Sun City, courtesy of the guys. So, um, we and, clip on that yeah, we, we do have a clip. That? I was about to play a, a, a clip of, this is some uh, clips of the boxing that happened last week at the... Uh, Photos by Mondo Medina right there. Right? No, this Mondo is this Medina. is video. This is video. Oh, video I got video. video. You know, you're, you're, you take pictures. I can't compare to your pictures, man. Let's be honest. <laughs> but I can do video. I can do video. That was some great boxing that we saw last week, uh, courtesy of Warriors Edge Clash of the Youth Boxing Event. You know, Ace, they're going to have a, a lot more stuff coming up, coming up in the summer, so I'm, I'm excited to see that. Also, I'm excited because it's Memorial Day weekend, a lot of stuff to do, Ace. We're going to have a busy weekend, of course. Chihuahuas, they start the, the six games uh, tonight uh, versus Oklahoma City. I know you got some stuff you got to take care of as well. Don't forget the... Uh, the Southwest Desert Cats, that's the basketball team. They're playing on Saturday. I believe the Sun City Stealth, they're playing on Saturday a lot. AEW Double or Nothing pay-per-view is on Sunday. That's wrestling, by the way, folks. That's La Lucha Libre. It's a, it's a jam-packed Memorial weekend. All I know is who's going to bring me hot dogs and hamburgers. That's, that's, that's what I want to know. Drop what the you, line right here. Which do you food? prefer? Are you, are you like when you okay now see now i was about to end it i was about to end the uh the i was about to end the surge for this week but then you just brought it up like hamburger and hot dogs when you i'm, I'm assuming hopefully 
we'll be at some type of barbecue when we have a chance. So when you go to a barbecue, why do they, first of all, why do they call it a barbecue when you're just grilling? All right, I'm just thinking about top of my head, you know, just is, is now, see, now you're thinking. Bar, bar, yeah, see, see now, you're not, now, now you're reaching. But I appreciate that. Q is K, you know. K. Okay. Uh, anyway, so so when you're at the uh, grilling event, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that happen. Grilling event. Um, what do you go for first, a hot dog or a hamburger? Oh, uh, you know me. I'm a burger guy. I'm, yeah, I'm a burger me too. Guy, you know, with your Dr Pepper. Uh, it, it's burgers. You know what? It's it's tacos, burgers. But you know what? You know it's got to be burgers first because there's more burgers around you know, on a quick, you know, thing. So burgers, tacos, Dr Pepper, some donuts, and ice cream. There you go. That's that sounds hard. like a perfect meal. Right. Throwing some chicken and a, wings and a, and, and a seven up. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Throwing some chicken wings and we're set. Hey, so that's going to wrap it up. Have a, a safe Memorial Day. Before we go, let's wish luck to the Riverside Rangers, uh, their baseball squad, taking on Stevenville in the uh, Class 4A Regional Finals. Uh, so good luck to Riverside. Hopefully uh, we'll have something to talk about that, you know, so good luck to that. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, Ace. I'll see you on the flip side, which is later on today. So I'll see you later on today, brother. Be safe. Stay tuned. Remember, you can see everything at EP Sports Net. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and I believe a Facebook. So uh, I'm working on the Facebook. I am. We're working on it. We're working on it. All right. On it. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye.